<laughs> Hello guys and welcome to another studio vlog. It is now Thursday and this week has been a week of just catching up and yesterday I did a big, I feel like I've got a bogey up my nose. Hello, I'm trying to talk over here. <laughs> yesterday we did a big pin launch on my Etsy store and released Gingy again and some more new glittery clover pins and stuff and today I wanted to focus on a new range of bookmarks. Now if you don't know I made this cute witches slash sorting hat pin over here. Oh someone said to put my hand behind like this. Oh my gosh it works. Like beauty people, now I get why people do it. Um, so I have this little sorting hat dude, little baby sorting hat, and look what I ordered. I normally go for pastel colours, but can anyone recognise these colour tassels? Uh, so I'm going to experiment and see if I could make house colours house colour bookmarks for those people who are Harry Potter fanatics like me. I am currently on the fourth book again. This is about my sixth time reading through the books and I am put, I've been putting Slytherin on Pottermore apparently. But then I did a test again and I got Hufflepuff so I'm not sure. My first, I'm going to go with my first one and say I'm a Slytherin. I think you're a Gryffindor. Emily really. thinks I'm a Gryffindor. You act more like a Gryffindor, let's be honest. What are you, Emily? I'm a Hufflepuff. She's a Hufflepuff. But I got Slytherin. Who thinks I'm a Slytherin? I'm just going to have to own it. Loads of people are like, just own it, you're a Slytherin. But I'm having an existential crisis. Is that the right word? <laughs> And what are you guys? I would like to know what house you guys are in. So yeah, that's on the agenda today to make a new range of bookmarks. And we need to get to work on packaging the orders and making all the mugs and stuff up. So I'm going to jump on mugs and things like that while Emily gets packing. So let's get into the studio vlog. Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> all the bits and now I've broke it even more it's already broke I have a lot of people saying that oh I have a lot of people saying that my exposure is always really high one it's part of my style and two this is stuck on plus one exposure what a nightmare Em I can't believe now the flappy bit at the top where I'm looking now it's got like this little flappy bit has broke and I can't fold it all the way back I'm so sad I love this camera I'm sorry guys um, but we have got to work on orders and stuff and I just wanted to show you the new packaging for my mouse mats. I made these new little label things. How cute are they? Um, they used to be printed on these massive sheets. Have we, still, have we got an example of these somewhere? Oh yeah, here we go. So they used to be printed on these huge sheets. I'll turn you around so you can see. 
here so this is how big they used to be and now i've printed them on pre-scored labels this size so they're a lot lot smaller so there's a lot less waste and i can fit a lot more labels on a sheet and that's what they used to look like and then this is the new one looks pretty cute uh, uh, so this is what they look like now i know the label's small on it but i quite like how it looks so i did that got that done and then we've been packaging orders Emily's been busy just doing the same thing all day. Oh yeah. And now we are listening to Zig Ziglar, which is a very old successful businessman who has some amazing amazing some amazing motivational speeches and stuff. So we've been listening to them on Spotify because he has like on Spotify it has the whole playlist of his CDs. So I've been listening to him. I really like listening to like businessy podcasts and stuff. Um, I'm leaning on my heat press here. Look how cool I am. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We're finishing soon, so nothing much to film. And then tomorrow we may be going for a coffee. And I know a lot of you guys from the last studio vlog named our coffee meetings. And I really, really like the comment Fika, was it Fika? It was, wasn't it? Fika Fridays, which is a Swedish word for a break for coffee and cake. I think I've got that right. So I think we're gonna call coffee and cake day Fika Fridays or oh, there was another oh fresh art fridays as well is another good one so thanks for coming yeah. in that but it's cool isn't it yeah so, i really like it yeah so we might be doing that uh tomorrow but we'll see and then i'm gonna get to work on the new bookmarks so i'll see you tomorrow guys bye say bye bye, bye. Hello guys, it is Friday. Me and Emily are in like basically matching tops. I'm wearing the same thing that I wore yesterday. Don't judge me. We are in the car and we're gonna go for coffee. It's actually quite late now, it's like half ten. It's half ten, which isn't great, but in winter for some reason I find it really, really hard to get up uh really early. I always do. Uh in summer I find it a lot easier, but in winter it just doesn't happen so i end up working later in the night oh i can't believe i broke this i'm still good about it um so yeah we're gonna go and try out a new coffee shop that's just opened in the little town square and yeah i'm excited because who doesn't love trying out new coffee am i right and thank you everyone for who commented on yesterday's video about the how to make stickers uh, i uploaded it yesterday or it won't be yesterday by the time you see this i don't know why i said that uh, but i uploaded it and i got loads and loads of comments really helpful comments as well i absolutely love the community that we're building over on this channel oh you just like them so thank you so much for your comments it's really really helpful and thank you for commenting to each other as well and helping each other out because that's helpful for everyone too because there's plenty of love and customers to go around so we can all have thriving creative businesses so let's go for coffee shall, shall we gorgeous wintery day today like it's super super sunny and super nice and fresh and we're coming up to the cafe which if anyone is local this is in mask and it is next to the Sainsbury's if anyone fancies trying this out oh it looks really pretty and it's called Craigs by the Sea so I'm excited to see it looks nice Included and it was relatively cheap. It was like eight pound ninety five for this breakfast and a cappuccino as well, wasn't it? Are you excited? Yeah. And I've just got a coffee because I had a huge tea last night, so I'm not hungry. But 
Boy, this is making me hungry. Hello guys, we are back in the studio. Please excuse Mount Vesuvius that has took residence on my upper lip. I don't know why, but having spots on your upper lip really, really hurt for some reason. It's really painful. Um, so yeah, we just came back uh, from the coffee shop and it was so good. I think this is our new, oh I'm out of focus. I think this is our new favourite coffee shop because it was so nice and I like the way it was all Scandinavian themed. I really love that sort of decor. It is my dream and kind of like the minimal look and had loads of eco-friendly like wood and stuff like that and they use all local farms and stuff for like the milk and everything. Really like that guys. See I'm a huge fan of Starbucks and stuff but if there's a local coffee shop and it's really cute like that and they put so much effort into it, um, I try and support local shops more than huge franchises uh, although I do love me a good Starbucks now and then to be honest but yeah that's definitely gonna be our new favorite place now me and Emily have got so much work to do with the pin launch and the sticker sheets um, and the sticker tutorial for some reason I've had an influx of orders and I haven't made the sticker sheets in bulk and I'm really panicking I've ran out of my sticker paper that I used and I'm having to go back to my original sticker paper now I I changed from, I think it's called Evergreen Goods or something sticker paper, which you might have seen on previous vlogs, and I updated my sticker paper to QP Media. But I've been having some issues with the paper yellowing over time. Even though the paper quality itself is a lot nicer, um, it started yellowing on the corners and stuff. And I think it was when it was left in the sun or near heat or moisture. And um, yeah, it wasn't good. So I'm having to go back to my original sticker paper. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, it's still just like a matte sticker paper and it looks brilliant, but it's got a yellow back to it. And yeah, it still looks great on planners and stuff, but I did prefer the quality of of QP medias but if they're gonna start yellowing ain't nobody got time for yellowing sticker paper am I right so I'm waiting for the new batch of Evergoods Evergreen of the sticker paper that I used to use so you can go check them out um, I tried online labels.com and the paper was too thin I didn't like how thin the paper was so yeah not great so yeah we're gonna get to work on that and I'm gonna get to work on making huge stickers and hopefully I'm gonna go down to reception and see if they've got my parcel I really hope they have so let's get into a busy Friday shall we also do you guys mind me talking this much to the camera I would like to know in the comments below because I'm always a little bit self-conscious about showing my face so much and shrambling on but a lot of you guys have said that they would like to see me talk more to the camera about my day-to-day -day things rather than just show you the snippets so please let me know what you think in the comments below because I really don't want to bore you to death with my voice so yeah love you bye Please, oh, this spot is literally getting worse every time I turn on this camera. Um, so, quick update, those, uh, you know I mentioned earlier about the stickers and that I have to hand cut all the stickers. Well, it's just finished printing and I listened to the advice I got on my comments on YouTube and they said to put my backing file, like duplicate it so that the Cricut does like several cuts and I think it's worked so I'm so excited should we peel it off together and see if this works because this will eliminate an extra step that I have to do by hand so let's see if it works shall we I'm going to put you right down here like this so let's see if it works <gasps> oh 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 see now hmm I only did three layers of this, so I feel, oh, but it did almost work. Look, 
It almost worked. Okay, it's done it again, guys. So now it's time for the moment of truth. <gasps> oh. Oh, is it gonna work? Yeah! <laughs> Success! Yay! Clean cut as well. So what I did was, on the backing card, if you watched my last sticker thing, uh, you guys recommended that this backing card or create a rectangle cut layer and do several of them so the blade keeps cutting round. And it's worked! Woohoo! I'm so happy. You guys have helped me out so much. I love you so much. Hello, guys. So, I'm sorry for the noise in the background, but Emily has now gone home and this studio is an absolute mess. I don't think I'm gonna get time to finish the bookmarks that I wanted to make in this vlog, so I'm so sorry about that. It's now 10 past five, but look what's arrived today. It's these. I ordered a fairy light curtain off Amazon, and I have one of these at my house, and I absolutely love fairy lights and all pretty stuff, and I thought it would be cute to kind of put it on this wall behind me for my YouTube videos and stuff. So it'll be fun to see how these get installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up my studio because it is a tip and this carpet is disgusting. And we're going to put these up and see what it looks like. I'm excited. They look like they're going to be a bit of a pain to untangle but how fun. I also bought these command clips which I read online were really, really good. So hanging fairy lights on. Doesn't look like you get many in a pack though. So. Hmm. And it says you have to wait one hour before use. So maybe I should put these up now, then tidy, and then put the fairy lights up. Let's go, shall we? I'm all tidied up and now I want to try to put the fairy lights on. It hasn't been an hour, but I really want to put them up and see what they look like. Um, well, hoovering and tidying up makes me so warm. It doesn't help that I'm practically wearing a massive fluffy jumper. But yeah, I'm excited to see what these fairy lights look like, so I'm going to put them up right now. very terribly but it looks twinkly and pretty but now I don't know what to do with this little section there's still some raveled up over there and then there's like a big gap here so I'm not sure what to do <laughs> oops hmm my coats and stuff are there so I can't really put it all the way down they do go all the way down and I think I'm going to sellotape them to the bottom so they're nice and straight but I haven't done these very well. At least it looks all twinkly behind me. Now it's Christmas in my office every day. Ta-da! Finished. 
it looks cute i think next time excuse the ugly office ceiling i think next time i would try and get a bit higher up but i didn't have any step ladders so they kind of just i mean come on that's not the best thing ever but it looks good and it's for youtube backgrounds and i think it's really pretty like this Ta -da! Mm, could done it could have done going across there too but i just thought it'd be pretty for youtube backgrounds and stuff and i work on my studio vlogs and stuff on a night time and it's dark in here and i already have a lamp that i got from my key row from this corner to kind of give it like a nice atmosphere so it doesn't feel like i'm working so late so now i've added the fairy lights it's even prettier a little bit tacky but i love a bit of tackiness Hmm, I'm not actually sure if I like them, you know, they're a little bit tacky and in real life they look pretty on the video, but in real life they look a bit, they look a bit naff, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, should I take them back down? I can always use them at home, I like the idea of having them with like a netted curtain in front of them for the bedroom, but they look a tiny bit tacky right now. They look, see, I see it on YouTube videos, like beauty videos and stuff, and it always looks really, really cool on there, but in real life, they don't look that good. Anyway, it's getting to that time in the vlog where I have to leave you guys. I'm sorry if this uh, vlog has been a really, really short. I feel like I haven't got much footage, but it's coming to the end of the week, and that sticker video took me a lot longer than i thought it was going to be i know we haven't really done much in this vlog but i hope you still don't mind um, and i've just got one goodie to open from a uh, love and the lily which uh looks really cute so i'm gonna open this goodie and then we're gonna have to part ways bye friend until next week obviously oh wow so she sent me this beautiful art print which is really really nice uh quality oh this like little witch and little cauldron and books and spell books now i have a pastel witch sticker set and i'm all for this type of stuff and so you're checking her out this is where you can go check her out it's love amber lily yeah but thank you so so much and she also sent me these cute stickers Ta -da! uh so yeah it's the end of the vlog i'm sorry again for it not being super long i know oh, peace and quiet finally i normally have um Something that I would like to get done, I wanted to get uh, the house colours uh, bookmarks done today, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. I had an influx of orders, thank you so much for keeping me busy. Uh, so it's put me back a bit, but hopefully you still enjoyed this vlog. I really hope you did. So I'll see you next week for another studio vlog. Bye guys, love you, bye bye. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Alright, love you, bye.